Hello everyone, this is HG Shaves. I'm back with another first impressions type video. Uh, I think I'm gonna start doing more of these now. Uh, well, at least during the next couple weeks because they allow me to sort of get through more uh, products than I would if I just do a weekly uh, review type video, like I usually do. Um, so before I tell you what I'm gonna uh, do my first impressions on, I would like to use this opportunity to do a shameless plug for the lather games that are going to be happening in the whole month of June on the R wet shaving subreddit on Reddit. Uh, it's a really fun month where there's a theme of every day and you have to do your best to make your shave like that. Um, there are different days where uh, artisans sponsor the day. So like on Barrister and Man Day, you have to use a Barrister and Man soap. And so that's the key is you have to match your lather to whatever the description is. There's a things you hate day, things you love day, things like that. And so uh, that is gonna be coming up here quite soon. And if you're not already on Reddit, I encourage you to go make an account and check out the official Lather Games uh, thread where they talk all about that. So. Uh, in the month of June, I'll be doing videos related to that. Probably will be uh, ditching the weekly review thing just for the month of June. So just a heads up. Okay, that's my plug for that. First impressions today. Bati La Mattia Monet, uh, main, named after the uh, painter there. I believe this is a self-portrait that he did. So this is a very typical Abate La Mantilla soap in that it has some sort of special ingredient in the soap itself. Which in this case, you see it says organic saffron, which they usually have saffron oil as you know the, kind of the foundation of their base. And then in this case, it's Italian rosehip extracts. And so when you open up the tub, you can absolutely see that this is a unique kind of soap texture and uh, composition. Um, similar to the Don Jose soap with menthol crystals actually built into the soap. Again, this is kind of sort of like that. This is a super soft soap. And um, as, as you can see, it's uh, it's been uh, scraped out. I split uh, this tub with a friend of mine, which is a great way to uh, save on how much you're spending on soap, I guess. But this smells like a very kind of sophisticated rose citrusy, floral uh, scent. It's quite strong on the rose hip, as you might expect, you know, just from the soap's composition. But I think it's a beautiful scent. Um, maybe not something I'd like to smell like all day, but for the purposes of a shaving soap, I think it's perfect and love the label as usual. I think kind of a, this pink color matches the scent of the soap and also, you know, uh, Monet. So the last thing to tell you about the soap is that this is uh, Abate de Lantia's own base, which they started making for all of their soaps uh, in the past couple of years or so. So before that, the base was always made by Chung Feng Sing TFS, and you could tell if it was made by them because it says on the back, made by TFS. This one, however, does not. And um, that's just a way you know, for you to know if your soap uh, is gonna be the TFS base or the Abate de Lantia base. I've heard that this one uh, is a little bit better than the TFS base, and I've never used this before, so I'm looking forward to um, trying that out. Other shave items for today, I'm gonna be going with a Red Tip Gillette Super Speed. I never know how to hold these when I show it to the camera. Um, considered to be the most aggressive of the Super Speed model. It's definitely the heaviest, although it's still not really heavy by modern standards. I'm still using a Gillette tie super thin in there. For the brush, gonna be rolling again with the Dogwood John B Synthetic, uh, just because I haven't used this base before and uh, like to start with the synthetic anytime I'm working with a new base, usually. And then for post shave today, I'll be using Barrister Man Nordis Aftershave Splash. I do detect some citrus in the soap and I think that'll be a nice way to uh, get me out of the rose hip uh, vibe. So with all that said, I'm going to wet my face, load onto the brush, and then start working in my bowl. Be right back. All right, so I started with a pretty wet brush, went for 30 seconds off the tub, and then started working in my bowl here. And we made quite a bit of lather. Um, 
it's hard to underload using the soap base because it is so soft. Um, but looks like it came together really, really easily. Didn't have to add too much water to get it to this point. And so now I'm going to set the bowl down and see how this works once we start working it on the face. Here we go. Let me tell you all out there, this is a great feeling lather. It feels very luxurious, light, fluffy. Um, really have too much soap here. So next time, maybe start with 20 second load with the synthetic. Gonna go first pass with the green. All right, that was a nice first pass. Uh, super, super slick soap. Um, like one of the slickest I've used in recent memory. There's something about that saffron and maybe the rose hip too that just make it feel significantly different than say that Southern Witchcraft soap I just used. Um, very, very impressive. And the razor feels great too. So gonna rinse, come back, pass number two. Second pass, cross screen. This razor is just gliding so effort effortlessly across the skin um, with this soap. I am very, very impressed. Um, because of that, I'm going to do a third pass, even though I don't really have to, but I'm just enjoying this so much. So, be right back.
All right, final pass against the grain. Okay, we're all done. Um, this is a pretty efficient razor, uh, I noticed, but the residual slickness of this soap uh, just really makes it easy to do little touch-ups like I just did. And um, yeah, it's gonna be a little bit of a pain to rinse this, I imagine. So I'm gonna rinse and then come back and talk to you over post-shave. Post-shave today, as mentioned, gonna use the Barrister Man Nordist. Um, last time I used this, I'm pretty sure it was when we were in South Africa in December. Um, again, it's, uh, you know, flip seasons there. So it was summertime. And uh, this Nordis really works well for summer. And we're almost at summer here in the Midwest. So, man, just a beautiful orange scent. It's just so, I don't know, organic, natural, doesn't feel synthetic. Hmm, beautiful, beautiful scent. And uh, takes me back to Africa, which is cool. Okay, enough about the post shave. Let me do a final discussion about the Abate La Matia Monet here. So, as usual with Abate La Matia, I love the uh, label, love the design, I think it's brilliant. Um, in this case, much prefer this scent to Don Jose. I mean, Don Jose is not bad, but for me, it's a beautiful, again, floral, citrusy kind of scent. If you're not into that, probably wouldn't recommend this because it is kind of strong off the tub. And again, with the rose hip extract that is just built into the soap, it, it, it really smells strongly of rose. Again, similar to why I think the Don Jose soap smells so strongly of menthol. It's because actually the menthol crystals, you know, you, you can see on the soap. But beautiful lather too. Um, I'm quite impressed with this uh, updated base. It's not significantly different from the TFS base. You know, it's still vegan and uh, you know saffron based, but it feels like the, the TFS base kind of on steroids. Um, it's a it's a it's a great base, and I'm anxious to pick up more uh, scents in that base. The only knock I have to give to about the Matias is just the price. I think this soap is like 30 bucks uh, retail, but if you do what I did, you get it on sale and then you split it with your buddy, you can save some money. And I think that's the way to do it uh, with these soaps. Probably you don't want to buy a retail, pretty, pretty expensive. So with all that said, hope you enjoyed this first impressions video. I'm really impressed with the Monet soap. And uh, let's see, this, Friday, I'll be doing my weekly review video. I'm gonna keep using that Red Tip Super Speed and have a couple other new products uh, that I'll be talking about. So until then, this is HG Shaves. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments or questions, leave them below and I'll get back to you. Take care, bye.